truly a crossroads fight for both Pat Curran and his opponent from Germany, Daniel Weichel. All right, here we go. You ready? Stay back. You ready? Get it off. The bell in round number one. Tonight's fight clock is brought to you by Miller Lite, the original Pilsner. Cheers, it's Miller time. Blue gloves for Weichel, red gloves for Curran. Both fighters, Jimmy, professing a tremendous amount of respect for each other. Pat Curran talked about his wrestling using it offensively this time, establishing, establishing his jujitsu. He's got to get to the hands of Daniel Weichel. Weichel awarded his black belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu last year. Amazing form for Weichel. Victories in 11 of his last dozen pro MMA fights is a perfect 3-0 in the Bellator cage. Either guy is recklessly aggressive. They're both patient, they're both tight. They like to set up their strikes and throw tight combinations. Curran told us, I want to be the old Pat Curran. And he said the old Pat Curran was the fighter who took his time and allowed himself to get into a groove. A big factor in this fight, Pat Curran used to five round fights where you can maybe get a slow start, start in round two. This is a three round fight. You cannot afford to give up minutes. Going early on, trying to establish the jab. Weichel not committing to his left jab. And on Twitter, there's the hashtag Bellator MMA. Also, hashtag Bellator 133. Oh, good right hand. Weichel straight and clean with that right hand. Brings it right back to his chin. Not a lot of gaps. Her hands high and tight. Weichel coming forward. Two minutes gone, round number one of this featherweight fight. Pawn at his eye like he got a little eye poke. Time, time called by John McCarthy. All right. Hey, come here. Come here. All right. I saw it. Uh, we'll just wipe. That's all. We're going to try. Hey. You good? Don't go over at first. I'm good. Yeah. All right. Let's go. All right. Put your fingers up instead of out. Up, oh, okay? The left hand. Bye. And then pushes off and puts his finger in the eye. Yep. Time in. McCarthy said the Vaishal fingers up instead of out. Packer trying to use that lead hook. It's a good way to get around the guard. Both guys keeping their hands high. Kick to the body that lands under the armpit thrown by Curran. That's very high and tight for Curran. Weichel, by and large, is the one who's coming forward in the stand-up, Jimmy. He's definitely being the aggressor, claiming the center of the cage. Pat Curran starting to open up, starting to throw different kinds of strikes. Pat is at his best when he mixes it up. Watch your fingers. Two weeks from tonight, Friday, February 27th, live on Spike, it's Bellator MMA's British Invasion. You will see Emmanuel Newton versus the Englishman Liam McGarry. Vaishal pouncing, Curran right back up. That fight for Bellator's light heavyweight world title. Also a heavyweight super fight, Czech Congo versus King Mo. Again, two weeks from tonight, live on Spike Friday. February 27th, the day before, at the Dave & Buster's in Manchester, Connecticut. Beginning at 7 p.m. local time, U.S. Eastern time. It's the Bellator Fan Fest. Fedor Emelianenko, Hoist Gracie, Tito Ortiz, and Ken Shamrock will all be there in person signing autographs. A beautiful leg kick, taking Pat Curran off of his feet. They both set a rhythm with the box. Anyone who breaks that rhythm might get the advantage in this last minute. Vaisal that was blocked. Vaisal right now fighting with a lot of confidence. Still needs to be careful though. Big left hand from Curran. Vaisal firing back. Temporarily lost his footing. Vaisal 
I said it before this fight. Jump me from Vaishal. There's not a lot separating these fighters. You can see now, very close round. Fifteen seconds remaining opening rounds. trying to turn up the volume, the counter back from Curran. Daniel, hey. Good job, man. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. You're about to sit out. Round one at the end of the round. Daniel Weissel going in confidence, pursuing Pat Crumble. Look at this right hand counter. That's why he has to be careful and cannot get recklessly aggressive. Yo, ready, ready. Get off. Let's get it on from Big John McCarthy. Starts round number two. Jimmy, your scorecard tonight is brought to you by America's Navy. 10-9, Daniel Weichel, very close first round. I thought he was the aggressor at cage control. I thought he won it 10-9. That's how you have it, Bellator fans, scoring on the free Bellator MMA app. Curran now trying to loop his punches a little bit, trying to get around the guard of Weichel. Weichel's hands for picking off straight punches, picking off the jab. Pat Curran's trying to loop and get around it now. Curran said he preferred to keep this fight standing. Much respect as he professed for Vaishal. Most of it was with Vaishal's commitment to his subs, to his jujitsu, to his overall ground game. But what has improved dramatically since you and I started calling his fights years ago is his kickboxing. Akron is finding out that now that he has outstanding kickboxing. His submissions in his Bellator tournament run were brought on by hurting him on the feet and then finishing him on the ground. That's how he dealt with his opponents. Friday night, March 13th, spikes. Friday night lights out, kicks off with premier boxing champions. When superstar Andre Berto battles Joselito Lopez and hard-hitting Sean Porter takes on Roberto Garcia. It's all live and free. Friday night, March 13th at 9 p.m. Eastern time on Spike. Just thrilled that boxing is coming to Spike. Daniel Weiss are doing some great boxing right now. Low kick from Weichel. Trying to turn up the tempo on the counter right from Weichel. Starting to mark Pat Kern's face up. Cut on the bridge of his nose, swelling around the left eye. That kick landed, and Vaishal just missed the right hand as Kern pulled away. There has been a weakness to Pat Kern's style in the past. It's been that he doesn't always turn it up when he's behind in rounds. I think that's where he is now. He needs to turn it up. Up next, our main event, two explosive knockout artists in the middleweight division, the Dutchman Melvin Manhoff versus the Russian Alexander Schlemenko. You're watching the German Daniel Weichel facing the American, the former two-time Bellator featherweight world champion, Pat Curran. 150 remaining round number two of this featherweight bout. The fight that put Pat Curran on the map was a knockout over Molin Sandro. He was losing that fight and ended it with a head kick. He does have finishing power. Very methodical, very measured from both men thus far. Kern looking for the takedown and he hits it. Kern mixing things up. To the butterfly guard for Weichel. That could be huge in a close round like this to see what he can get done. I don't think he can just hold position. He needs to land some ground and pound. He needs to get something done. Vaishal now going rubber guard. 
Good job by Pat Kern getting in the half guard. From here he can land some effective strikes. Chest to chest pressure. See Kern trying to work out of the closed half guard of Daniel Weichel, letting go with the right hand. Weichel continuing the shrimp, trying to posture onto his hip. Beautiful step over from Kern, showing the skill and the athleticism. Stepped over in the side control, trying to step over in the full mount. Well defended by Weichel. Closing stages, round number two. Extremely even. Daniel Weichel versus Pat Curran. Curran will finish the round in top position. Good job. Between rounds, Pat Curran's cousin and trainer Jeff Curran said, Promise me no more kicking. He's just going to snatch ready, a leg. Get off. Go. Scorecard, Jimmy. It's tight. Very close second round, but I gave it to Daniel Weichel. The criteria are effective grappling and effective punching. They have e I mean, effective striking. They have equal weight. I just thought Daniel Weichel did more damage on the feet than Pat Kern did on the ground. He did get the takedown, did have the effective grappling nod, but it was late in the round. I didn't think he did enough with it. But it wouldn't surprise me if the judges have this even. The fans at home gave that second round to Kern. I'm sure a lot of people did. Weichel now trying to cut angles. Stepping in with the lead right hand. Weichel now going for the takedown. Low kick, then back up top with the punches. Weichel trying to mix things up, and he hits his own takedown. Pat Curran's hard to keep down. But immediately right back to his feet. On cue as you said it, Jimmy. And even when he doesn't land effective strikes, you see there, Pat Curran blocked all those punches, but it's Vaishal moving forward, it's Vaishal initiating, it's Vaishal pushing Pat Curran back generally. Curran now driving forward for a takedown, looking for the single leg, nicely defended by Daniel Vaishal. Back to the center of the cage we go. We knew this fight would be tight. We knew it would be close. It's lived up to our expectations, Jimmy. Exactly what I expected. Extremely competitive. Both fighters knew it as well. How one judge sees these rounds or one of these rounds could determine this fight. No animosity, no bad blood, no trash talking. Just respect going in both directions between Vaishal and Curran coming in. Not going to take down Pat Curran with those diving takedowns. Yes, excellent wrestling, especially for MMA. Weichel shuffles his feet, tries to move forward. There's a push kick, doesn't land. See the smear of blood on the back of Weichel? That, of course, is from the cut. Upper left eyelid of Curran. Weichel still being aggressive, but his hands are getting a bit lower. His punches are getting a little wider. I think fatigue is starting to set in. Giving Pat Kern some openings here. 20 remaining third and final rounds. We'll see if either of these fighters tries to turn up the volume in the closing stages. We heard earlier on Twitter from Will Brooks, Bellator's lightweight world champion. Here's Bellator's featherweight world champion, Patricio Pitbull. I'm sure he means be more active. English is not his first language. We get what you mean, champ. Pat Kern needs to turn it up. Daniel Weichel is a tight, he's a aggressive. He's looked like a contender tonight, Sean. 90 seconds to the finish line. So incredibly close, even on Jimmy's scorecard. But I'm not kidding, we'll take one power shot to turn this fight around completely. 
Shot from Curran, going hard for the single leg. Weichel, nicely defended by Weichel. Weichel driving him back with the guillotine. Down. Now he's grounded. There's the left hand down by Curran. Yeah, that knee was to the shoulder, it's a legal shot. Curran right back up. 15th and final minute of this featherweight fight. Incredibly pivotal fight in the careers of both Daniel Weinschel and Pat Curran. Nothing decided thus far. Caught that right hand on the shoulder. Turn to the body. Weinschel firing back with the right hand. Weichel now lowering his stance, Curran diving in. Twice we've seen the jump knee from Pat Curran in this third and final round. Curran fainting the jump knee. The shot from Curran doesn't hit the takedown, that's the end of the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance, we'll go to your judges' scorecards. Your first judge, Marcos Rosales, scores the fight 29 to 28, scoring the fight for Curran. Your second judge, Derek Cleary, also sees the fight 29 to 28, but he scores it for Weichel. Your third and final judge, Abe Bellardo, scores the fight the same at 29 to 28, seeing it for the winner by split decision, Daniel Weichel. 35 pro MMA victories for Daniel Weichel. And that is absolutely the victory of his life. By split decision, Daniel Weichel defeats Bellator's former two-time featherweight world champion, Pat Curry. That must have been a nervous moment, very close rounds, but Daniel Weichel looked like a contender tonight.